Uh, welcome to part two. And in this this part, I want to uh, kind of go over different uh, remote desktop configurations and uh, IP addresses. So I'm going to keep this very simple um, so, because you have to have an understanding of IP addresses to know how to configure your remote desktop. Uh, different con different ways that, that these computers can connect, for example, uh, the computers can connect computer to computer, um, and that can be done through, say, a network cable or uh, through, through an ISP over the Internet. There's other ways they can connect, too. Uh, a computer can connect to another computer through a router. It can go to the router first and then to another computer. Another way a computer could connect to another computer is to go up to a router which would go to say an ISP or another router uh, but, uh, I'm going to say that it could go from a computer to a router to an ISP to another router this would be like the internet and then back down to another computer so there's different configurations and depending on the configuration uh, you're going to use different IP address systems and, and locate those IPs different ways for example if it does go to uh, the, the, this one here from a computer to a router to another computer it's going to use the IP, and this would be a LAN, a local area network setting where it went from a computer to a router to another computer. It's going to get the uh, address from the router, the IP address. In that case, it, it would be getting it from a router. And most home routers use a, a protocol called a NAT or natural address translation. And the IP address, the router itself would be like 192 that 168 would be like 192.168.1.1 that would be the IP address of the router and then the IP address that router would give the computer would start with like 192.168.1.100 and if others were on the network like this one over here it would be like 192.168.101 etc okay and those are all addresses that the router gives the computer. They're in a, a special class. There's also there's various classes of IP addresses. I'm not going to get into it because I want to keep it simple and I don't want to confuse the new user. Um, we can always talk about different classes of IP addresses another day. Um, now the I in the uh, on the other hand, we will go back to this other configuration where it goes from a computer to a router to an ISP to a router back to a computer um, and that's going to be a different class of network addresses IP address will, co will come from the one that's assigned to, to, the, to the computers by the ISP by the internet service provider so there's two, two, two ways of obtaining these IP numbers, like the one from the LAN and the one from the ISP. And I'm going to go over both of them in the next, in the next video. i got to keep them short because we have a 100 megabyte size limit. But watch the next one and we'll keep going on with it.